<laughs> Why not take a little? So, who would like to begin? Well, I'd like to know mm. about your evil turn and yeah. how far it's going to go this next season. I mean, is, he, is he always going to be on the outside of the green? Well, if I have anything to do with it, I would love to take it as dark as possible and uh, as confrontational as we can. I think it's more interesting. I think we've seen him be a participant in the whole, you know, the gang, and uh, I don't want it to be predictable. And uh, it's really great that this is a character that uh, has kept the audiences guessing, and people are always suspicious of him, as they should be. I don't think even Nick or, or, the, or the group ever really trusted him, and now they definitely have reason <laughs> to distrust him. Um, yeah, it's it's a full out war at this point, and, and that's really enjoyable for me. Are you going to be the major baddie next season? It looks like it. So oh. it looks like it, which which is really great because I, I I like it when the stories and the mythology stay in house, so to speak. It's, it's all about the main characters and their inter dynamics and their dynamics and interrelationships. And, um, and I think it's uh, it's fun for the fans to watch them. Uh, really be the focus rather than having to bring in a big baddie. We've done that. So, uh, yeah, it looks like it. How do you want things to end for Renard? Uh, in a blaze of glory. <laughs> <laughs> and it just might. I mean, you never know, you know. You live by the sword, you know. So, we'll see. Um, but they're definitely uh, full-blown enemies at this point. What's that like when the cast is close to be able to play a full-blown enemy in these friends of yours? Oh, it's just fine. <laughs> it's fine. I mean, like, yeah, we are very, very close. It's a, it's it's quite special after this many years. Um, but no, it's it's great, and you know, I, I always enjoy. I mean, I never felt comfortable as Renard being part of the gang. It always felt very much like it didn't quite like a, like an outfit that didn't fit quite right on him, you know, so this feels a lot more appropriate, um, and uh, it really is like two camps completely divided, and so there's some great stuff coming up, some really great stuff coming up, but it's full-blown war, it's, it's wonderful. So there is no redemption for him, you don't think? I mean, you never know, you know, I haven't read past the three episodes, but uh, I don't know, I mean, I think, I, I can certainly see this season sort of remaining very antagonistic. Uh, I feel okay with, about it, to be honest. I um, I don't know what they have planned for us, to be totally honest here. I, I, I don't know if they want to pick up a backhand, if they're just, you know, what they want to do. If this, I don't, I really don't know. Um, but 13 is okay. 22 is long. It's really long. And it also doesn't give you a chance to work on other things. So I'm kind of excited to have the, the opportunity to work on some other projects. Um, but, but, yeah, it's going to be a, a really great... Uh, package. I think it's really hard to write 22 episodes. 13, you can really focus in and, and write some great stuff and have a true arc to it. So I'm looking forward to seeing what they, what they come up with. So far, I haven't seen past three episodes and, and they're all really intense. Have fun. you gotten any negative reaction from fans from the direction that Menard's been taking? Not really. I mean, I mean, you know, the typical kind of, oh, I'm so upset with you. I'm like, they're not. They're not. <laughs> because let's be honest. I mean, it's it's so much more fun, right? Uh, to have bad bad guys. It's it's, uh, and I think he's better as bad. Guy. It just fits him better, you know. Um, and let's be honest. I mean, if you've been watching the show, you know that it was a matter of time. Like you know what I mean? It's like watching like a lion tamer. You're like, yeah, it's only a matter of time before his head's bitten off. You know, like, but it was, it was fun while it lasted. You know, so it's 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 what it is. It's like Renard's like this caged animal. Eventually, he's going to strike. But do you think he thinks he's the caged animal, or do you think he's the bad guy, or do you think he's just no, a survivor? No, no, I think like, you know, as actors, you never judge your character. I mean, I'm talking to you guys on an objective level, but as actors, no, you just you find the reason for any of his actions. And everything is justified. And in my own world, like when I sort of think about him or when I, you know, embody him, everything he does is fully justifiable to me, based on his backstory, based on the things he's undergone, based on the circumstances in the world. You know, and I don't think there's a single bad person out there who really thinks of themselves as a bad person, i.e., Donald Trump. But anyway, so. <laughs> I'm not kidding. 
Uh, sorry, not sorry. But anyway, uh, so, you know, we just kind of like, when you have a mission and you have a purpose and uh, it's utterly justifiable in your universe, that's, that's all that matters.